Entitled teenagers think that the world revolves around them, but what happens when they meet their match in the form of police officers? Here are four times when entitled teenagers realized they're going to jail. Okay. Hey, this one right here. I'll take your ID. I ain't got no ID. Well, then you're coming with me. Well, what what you want? Stop. 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 But these kids kept yelling at the officers until they had to put another one of them in handcuffs. Go, 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 Bro, hey, hey, y'all see this? Y'all witness? Y'all see this shit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I'll take y'all to the door. Persistent or sort of conduct. Get the off me. Talk to me like that, bitch. Get the f off me. Off me. I just got that f today. Stop moving. I won't fall off. Get my phone. Get my phone. He can get loud music. You can put. Stay back! Hey! Bar him! Arrest him! He resisted his arrest! Get my phone! Carlos! Get my phone! You got your hands in the pocket! Get your hands in the pocket! Why the f? We don't have nothing! Are you serious? Hey, y'all see this shit! Dude! There's two officers on him! There's two officers! Get back! You're out of your mind, bro! You see that Bro, hey! Oh, ho, ho! You lucky I ain't got the force to be able to do something about this shit. I swear to God. I swear to God. Hey, Stevenson, grab his ID. That guy's ID right there. Carlos, yep, him. Close my car. Close, close the doors in the hood on my shit. Because I'm probably going to jail. Oh, you do. Yes, you are. You're under arrest. It's not hard. Just can you request your ID? Bro, I'm telling you, I'm trying to get Hey, he resisted his arrest anyway. I swear his ID, he was grabbing it. Two officers. Are you serious? He resisted your arrest. You resisted arrest. If my phone's broken, so that's, I, that's going to mean. You shouldn't resist die. arrest. I swear to God. Step this way. I didn't, I didn't resist no arrest. You can just take it off and stop. It's on your body, actually, so I wouldn't pull too hard. Right here. Don't, this Don't pull away from me. I wasn't pulling away. Get in the car. Get in the Get car. Quit being disorderly. That
You can't use no Wait, quit cussing. Like quit cussing. These kids could have ended the encounter with minimal damage by simply complying. But if you think these are the most entitled and unthinking teens, well, what you are about to see is way worse. On September 18th, 2022, this man called the police on his daughter who refused to leave his car. You might think this was unnecessary, but wait until you hear the whole story. Why isn't she getting out? I don't know. She's got a lot of problems in life. I can't seem to solve them. So I offered to give her a ride and now... This is my dad and I think he's, uh, I don't know exactly what's going on, but he has the key to the car, so I'm just waiting on him to get out of the building. You're waiting on him to what? To get out of the building, to come drive the car? <laughs> um, he just parked us here, so I don't know. Yeah, but you, you know he doesn't have to drive you anywhere, but it's his car. He doesn't have to take you anywhere if he doesn't want to. I understand. Well, he already took me here, so I'm in the car. I'd, I'd like to, you know, go back to my house whenever he's ready, basically. So I'm just sitting in the car. Okay, but do you realize that if he doesn't want to take you, you, you have to get out because it's his car, it's his property? I don't think so. I think no, it's yeah, on purpose. I'm letting you know. No. But that's how that works. Okay, well, I'm going to be sitting here. <laughs> so, whenever he's ready. But he doesn't want to drive. You don't want to drive her home? No, I do not. I think he might no, be I having some sort of like is... like early dementia or something, but he is yeah, not acting like himself. Uh, we were just going to go to Starbucks, and then he said that he had to go, and I can't remember if he said he needed to take a package somewhere. He had me bring her down here. I, I got her a couple of gift cards because she doesn't have a job. He did. He, well, he just got me a gift She's card. She's supposed to be in a rehab facility, but somehow managed to get kicked out of it and showed up back at the apartment. So I felt sorry for her. My mistake. Gave her more money. Gave her more things to do. Took her here so she could get food. Not only did she not get food, she refused to get out of the car. Now she well, I'm get just... out of it at all. This father is clearly exhausted with having to deal with his daughter. The girl, fresh from rehab, demanded driving services from her father. Unfortunately, he wasn't willing to provide them to his entitled daughter and was even willing to get the police involved. So do you want to press charges for trespassing? I do. I mean, you can't just that. press charges like that. You can't. You can. No, you can't. So do you want to get out of the car or not? Um, don't you guys have anything better to do today? We actually do. Yeah, like, so I don't know so what you guys really want like to do. Why don't you have your to, cars? I don't want to take we a ride to the jail. I would I, love to. I would hate I, that. You know what? I love riding around places. I love going on errands. I love driving. Love all of it. This is going to be one of those situations on when you go down to the jail, people are like, what are you in for? And you say, because I wouldn't get out of the car. People are going to be like, that's a stupid reason to go to jail. Yeah, I mean, do. really, there's really not a really good reason to go to jail, but that's really stupid. Well, it's more stupid of you guys because it's just a lot of paperwork and a we lot don't of trouble. Want to be here, but we, we're public servants. We've been called here. You're we've not a summed, servant. We've been summoned here, so we're here to solve a problem. Unfortunately, do you have a payroll? The problem is that you're in the car. It's to solve the problem. I don't think it, there's not a solution. You there can, isn't a solution. The solution is that you step out, either stand over here. You could sit. There's a bench over here. There's a bench there. There's a bench over out. there. Okay, yeah, go ahead and stand out of the car. <laughs> no, I stepped out. It's fine. Please allow me to. No, you're shut not my closing doors. the door. So I don't want to shut it on you. I don't want to like. Do? I can promise you, you're not. Please stop touching on. this car because it's not your car. It's not yours either. Well, that's okay. All right, you're gonna end up. No, gonna end up you are. Stop. Step on out. I'm just gonna pull you out. I mean, at the end of the day, you're gonna come out of the car. So do we have to make this harder? I don't want. Don't to. pull my arm out of its socket. Well, step out. Don't touch me. Just hold, we'll just get the statement. We're not in a hurry. Okay. Don't touch me. Don't molest me. Please. What's going to end up happening is we're going to end up having to use force on I would like to press charges for assault and well, assault charge. Assault. I just was assaulted. Was battery. So, I want to press charges for battery. Okay. You don't get that. I want to press charges. It's a lawful. I would like to press charges. You don't get to. I'm being held against my will. Great. Get out of the car. <laughs> no, you're, I'm being held against my will. Please you're leave. Not. No. So these are the options. You can get out of the car, you can leave on your own accord, you can walk away, or you're gonna end up going with us. Get a judge or something. Like I don't I don't know what else to tell you. Get a judge and a jury and take me to trial. Like I don't really understand. So mail me some papers. I mean I don't know. What, like would you like to uh, whatever the charges are, like, let me know. Despite several attempts by the police to end the encounter peacefully and get the girl to leave her father's car, she refused. She even suggested that they mail her the charges if they insisted on charging her. 
This showed a lack of understanding of the law and an unbelievable amount of entitlement. So I really would like you to get out of the car so that we don't have to force you to get out of the car, or that force doesn't have to be used. Defiance. That's your choice? Defiance, yeah. So you understand the risk that you're taking with this, right? <sighs> okay. Thanks. Um, no. Um, you're insulting me. What are you doing? No, I'm not going to do why. Put your hands behind your back. No. You're under arrest. No. You're going to be placed I'm not under, under arrest. arrest. I'm under cardiac arrest. Or anything. No. You're going to be placed under arrest for trespassing and resisting. You can't do that. We yeah. can. As you would expect, after being arrested, this teenager did not stop throwing a tantrum. She repeatedly yelled at the police to get her out and even demanded that they take her to the hospital because she couldn't breathe. Unfortunately for her, none of her antics worked, and she was eventually carted off to jail. Get me out of here! Get me out! Let me out! It's not happening, so... Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! Open it! Open the door! Can I go? I just turned the AC I'm up for you, okay? Seizure. You gotta give it a second. I just turned off the AC. You'll be able to get some air in a couple seconds, okay? I don't know what that means. Take me to the hospital. Take me to the ER. To the ED. You might think that you have seen the most belligerent teenager ever, but hold on tight because it only gets worse. <laughs> Just Can you, you get in the ER? Yeah, what kind of errands you running? You know, grocery shopping, killing bills, just adult, adult things. Yeah. So where were you coming from? If we're being honest, I am um, on the way to pick up on my friend and... Because, like, I don't like doing things by myself because I have anxiety. So I like people coming on rides with me. So I was going to go pick her up. So I can go to the dispensary, get what I need, and then bring it back home. If you want to, I can show you my medical card. Police officers received a call about a car driving erratically on the road and hitting multiple objects. They arrived at the scene to find this girl who obviously claimed that everything was normal. Unsurprisingly, that things weren't as they seemed at all. Do you have a prescription for Xanax bars? No? Have you taken any? All right. Hang tight. You can get some gloves. Because I believe there's knitting right there in the driver's seat. For me, it pretty much stays simple. The Ma'am, is your ID in your purse? Yes, it is. All right, I'll get it. I'll get it. Hey, I said I'll get it. Stand over there at the end of your car. Do you hear me? Okay, but if you were more respectful about it, if I'm just saying, I'm just saying. All right. I'm, if we're all humans here, if you were more respectful about it, I'm just saying. Where's your ID at? Is it in uh, here? Can I look for my wallet? Well, like, why oh, I got it. for my wallet? No, it. the thing is, if that's my property, you have no choice. Actually, I do, because I found freaking Xanax bars on your driver's seat. If you want to explain something, explain those. After the officers found the Xanax in her car, the girl still had the audacity to demand that the officers accord her more respect than they already were. She claimed that they had no right to search her because it was her property. Of course, she was wrong. We were pulled over. Um, you were called in as a possible drunk driver. And from the people that were calling in said that you hit multiple things. I haven't been to the other side of your car or really inspected your car yet to verify that. But um, you were found. You're you were found here. She's getting out with you. We you were called in as a drunk driver. Okay. Upon contact, she's finding things that are illegal in your car. So this is kind of the development that we're going. Okay. So for right now, while she's doing her job, we're going to give her some space and we're going to go sit at the front of that car. Okay. Okay. Stretch your legs for me. Face the car. Stretch your legs. Stretch your legs. Ooh, I 
This is the Russian investment. Ooh, damn, girl. Checking the oven shit. Oh, shit. Down. Yeah, she's straight. Hmm? She's good. Yeah, I'm my kitty, bro. It's all girl, on camera. Get off all my shit, bro. I mean, you, oh, you guys are gonna steal my lavender. You got her? Yeah. You wanna try that? This girl resorted to another tactic by acting dirty with the police officers. The cops, however, did not have the time for her silly tricks. They did what they had to do and locked her in the patrol vehicle. Hey, what? Take that water bottle if you just hey, threw. If y'all want to sell water bottles, that's fine. Stay out of the streets, though. Because you got... It's every... All over when we're walking. You guys are all... Just stay out of the streets. Just stay out of the streets. That's all they I'm call, asking. They call I'm telling you right now, they're calling us. I don't want to do something about it. Right? This was the beginning of a very chaotic episode for both the kids and the police officers. These kids had more than enough chances to get off the road and avoid any arrests, but they wanted to test the law. They would regret this soon enough. Do you, I mean, do you need me to? Do you want me to write you a ticket for impeding traffic? You're probably right. You're probably right. I probably should. No, no you're right. You're right. Oh, now you're going to run. Okay. Yeah. That's probably good for you, too. Keep it up. Okay. Okay. Have a good day. Have a good day. Okay. Well, you're the one that said write you a ticket. Now you don't want. Now you're gonna walk away. You, you wanna? You wanna? You really wanna have a bet on that? I guarantee. Stay out of the roadway. Stay out of the roadway. All right. You wanna deal with it? Out of the road. You too. You're in the road. Come here. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Stop resisting. You're going to get tased. Stop resisting. You're going to get tased. Stop resisting. Hey, stop. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. You're going to get tased. Stop resisting. I'm not in the world. 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 After gauding and teasing the officers, the fact that they were eventually put in handcuffs seemed to catch these kids by surprise. It is ridiculous how their entitlement could blind them to the fact that they could get punished for violating laws. What do I do? Let me out! Oh, this is your bag? It's a BB gun. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Stop resisting. The entire ordeal might have ended with just one arrest if another teen hadn't been dumb enough to carry around a BB gun. Unfortunately, entitled teens like these ones cannot be trusted for their wit. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.